And tonight, a one-year-old girl is fighting for her life in intensive care, and doctors say Rakevia Stevens is worse off than yesterday as they give her blood transfusions. She's one of the people run over by a car this weekend, along with two other children and a pregnant woman. Police are still looking for the woman who plowed into those victims in North Memphis. WREG's Michael Quander broke the story and has the very shocking video of this extremely awful crime. Well, Alex and Claudia, it all happened right here at the Evergreen Apartments where police say a woman drove right over this curb into this grassy area and plowed right into a group of children. I'm happy he's okay. Full of life and full of energy, one-year-old Markel Franklin is out of the hospital. They say he's good. He just got a, um, he can't do no running and jumping and playing. But he doing fine. But his one-year-old niece, Rakevia Stevens' condition has gotten worse. She just um, was bleeding over her right lung and they gave her blood transfusion to uh, build her blood back up. This baby girl is in intensive care after police say this car slammed into her and a large crowd of people Saturday. <laughs> in total, two toddlers, an 11-year-old girl and a five-month pregnant woman were hurt, but Rakevia is the last victim still in the hospital. We trying to take and we praying every day for her. Till she come home. Doctors say she has a long way to go. The one year old is in a body cast and suffering from a broken hip, a cracked skull, and scrapes all along the right side of her body. We just need prayers to go out and help my grandbaby come home. Just pray for her and keep up. The woman driving the car is still on the run tonight as police work to find out who she is and get to the bottom of what led up to all this. These babies was one year old. And they was innocent. They didn't have nothing to do with what was going on. She could have avoided all it. In action that has this baby fighting from her hospital bed. In North Memphis, Michael Quander, WREG News Channel 3. A lot of thoughts and prayers definitely need it. Police have not released a description of the suspect. If you know anything at all, please call Crime Stoppers at 901-528-CASH.